El Clásico or El Clásic meaning the Classic, is the name given to any football match between rival clubs Barcelona and Real Madrid. Originally referring to competitions held in the Spanish Championship, the term now includes every match between the clubs, such as those in the UEFA Champions League, Supercopa de España and Copa del Rey. It is considered one of the biggest club football games in the world and is among the most viewed annual sporting events. A fixture known for its intensity, it has featured memorable goal celebrations from both teams, often involving mockery from both sides. The fixture carries a large-scale political connotation, as Madrid is the capital and largest city of Spain and Barcelona is the capital and largest city of the autonomous community of Catalonia, which has an ongoing independence movement. The two clubs are often identified with opposing political positions, with Real Madrid viewed as representing Spanish nationalism and Barcelona viewed as representing Catalan nationalism. The two clubs are among the wealthiest and most successful football clubs in the world. In 2014 Forbes ranked Barcelona and Real Madrid the world's two most valuable sports teams. Both clubs have a global fan base, they are the world's two most followed sports teams on social media. Real Madrid leads in head-to-head -head results in official competitive matches with 105 wins to Barcelona's 100 with 52 draws as of the match played on April 21, 2024. Along with Athletic Bilbao, they are the only clubs in La Liga to have never been relegated. Besides trophies, personal and team records, the history of football has been based around great rivalries. One of the most spectacular is that between FC Barcelona and Real Madrid, in the encounter known as El Clásico. It has become a global phenomenon, and the next edition is less than a fortnight away. FC Barcelona were founded in 1899 and Real Madrid three years later, in 1902. It was the latter year in which the first El Clásico was played. It was part of the CONC Urso Madrid de Football Association, better known as the Copa de la Coronation, an unofficial competition. The majority of the initial games between the two teams were friendlies, given that La Liga had yet to be formed and the only national competition was the Copa de España. With the passage of time, the fixture became more regular especially after La Liga was founded in 1929. Disputes over signings such as the battle for Alfredo Di Stefano's signature in the 1950s and controversial refereeing decisions only served to heat up the rivalry. The two clubs also boasted the best players of the era, such as Ladislao Kubala and Luis Suarez for Barca and Ferenc Puskas and Di Stefano for Real Madrid. In the middle of the 20th century, the rivalry took on a new dimension. It was still known as a derby, rather than El Clásico despite both teams being from different cities. The rivalry did not wane over the decades, and in general the games remained evenly matched. That did not prevent some more comprehensive results between Barca and Real Madrid, however. Some such Barca wins helped coin a very famous term that is used today, La Manita, or five goals against the eternal rivals. One of the most remembered was that of 1974, when Yuan Cruyff was at his peak, the 0-5 victory at the Santiago Bernabeu is still remembered as one of the greatest El Clásico performances, with the Dutchman as captain of the team. But for the younger generations, Barca's 5-0 result in 1994, with Cruyff as coach and with Romario in the starring role, is the more famous fixture. Although Real Madrid returned the favor with their own 5-0 win the following year at the Bernabeu, it has been the Blaugrana who have been able to achieve the feat the most times in the fixture. In 2011, the team led by Pep Guardiola did so against Jose Mourinho's Madrid, and in 2018 the same thing happened with Ecobedo Valverde's squad against a Madrid coached by Julian Lopetegui. Five goals is not the limit, however, and a 2-6 result in 2009 at the Bernabeu is the best example of the excellence that was achieved the year that the team won six trophies. Clásicos with backstories In addition to trophies and goals, El Clásico has always been littered with smaller stories. For example, the painful switching of sides by some of the players. The most famous were, perhaps, those of Bernd Schuster, Michael Laudrup, and Luis Figo, 
who left Barcelona to move to Real Madrid. But there are also other examples in reverse, such as Luis Enrique or Samuel Eto'o. Hristo Stoikov, Rivaldo, Hugo Sanchez or Raul Gonzalez were other players who, with their gestures or celebrations, personified the high level of tension experienced on the pitch during El Clasico. Other moments, such as the intermediation of Josep Taradellas to seal the peace before El Clasico in 1980, have defined the fixture. Or Santiago Bernabeu intervening so that Kubala could meet with his mother at Christmas in 1961. Guards of honor for the champions, ovations from the Camp Nou for Cunningham in 1980 and from the Bernabeu to Ronaldinho in 2005. Or the friendship of Xavi and Iker Casillas, who received the 2012 Prince of Asturias Award for Sports. Stars in the last decade. The last decade has had two prominent figures attract attention, Leo Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. The Argentine and the Portuguese, multiple winners of the Ballon d'Or, crossed paths other very often while they coincided in Spain. They did so in all competitions, not only in La Liga but also Copa del Rey finals, Champions League semi-finals and even summer El Clasicos, with the Super Cup between Barca and Real Madrid a recurring event. The supporting cast were a host of great players who have helped turn El Clasico into a global phenomenon, Xavi, Iniesta, Neymar, Busquets, Pique, Benzema, Sergio Ramos, and Modric, contributing to maintaining the rivalry between Barca and Real Madrid at the pinnacle of world football. Overall, the statistics read as follows. Total wins for FC Barcelona, 100. Total wins for Real Madrid, 105. Draws, 52. Goals for FC Barcelona, 419. Goals for Real Madrid, 433. Home wins for FC Barcelona, 63. Home wins for Real Madrid, 66. While El Clasico is regarded as one of the fiercest rivalries in world football, there have been rare moments when fans have shown praise for a player on the opposing team. In 1980, Laurie Cunningham was the first Real Madrid player to receive applause from Barcelona fans at Camp Nou, after excelling during the match, and with Madrid winning 2-0, Cunningham left the field to a standing ovation from the locals. On June 26, 1983, during the second leg of the Copa de la Liga final at the Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid, having dribbled past the Real Madrid goalkeeper, Barcelona star Diego Maradona ran towards an empty goal before stopping just as the Madrid defender Juan Jose came sliding in an attempt to block the shot and crashed into the post, before Maradona slotted the ball into the net. The manner of Maradona's goal led to many Madrid fans inside the stadium start applauding. In November 2005, Ronaldinho became the second Barcelona player to receive a standing ovation from Madrid fans at the Santiago Bernabeu. After dribbling through the Madrid defence twice to score two goals in a 3-0 win, Madrid fans paid homage to his performance with applause. On November 21, 2015, Andres Iniesta became the third Barcelona player to receive applause from Real Madrid fans while he was substituted during a 4-0 away win, with Iniesta scoring Barca's third. He was already a popular figure throughout Spain for scoring the nation's World Cup winning goal in 2010. The rivalry intensified in 2011, when Barcelona and Real Madrid were scheduled to meet each other four times in 18 days, including the Copa del Rey final and UEFA Champions League semi-finals. Several accusations of unsportsmanlike behavior from both teams and a war of words erupted throughout the fixtures which included four red cards. Spain national team coach Vicente del Bosque stated that he was concerned that due to the rising hatred between the two clubs, that this could cause friction in the Spain team. A fixture known for its intensity and indiscipline, it has also featured memorable goal celebrations from both teams, often involving mocking the opposition. In October 1999, Real Madrid forward Raúl silenced 100,000 Barcelona fans at the Camp Nou when he scored an 86th minute equaliser before he celebrated by putting a finger to his lips as if telling the crowd to be quiet. In May 2009, 
Barcelona captain Carles Puyol kissed his Catalan armband in front of Madrid fans at the Santiago Bernabeu after his 21st minute headed goal in a 6 2 win. Cristiano Ronaldo twice gestured to the hostile crowd to calm down after scoring against Barcelona at the Camp Nou in 2012 and 2016, both being the winning goals in 2 1 wins. In April 2017, in Barcelona's 3 2 win, Messi celebrated his 93rd minute winner against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu by taking off his Barcelona shirt and holding it up to incensed Real Madrid fans, with his name and number facing them. Later that year, in August, Ronaldo was subbed on during the 3 1 first leg victory in the Supercopa de España, scored in the 80th minute, and took his shirt off before holding it up to Barca's fans with his name and number facing them. However, he was sent off moments later, having been awarded a second yellow card for simulation. The rivalry between Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo between 2009 and 2018 has been the most competitive in El Clasico history, with both players being their club's all-time top scorers. In their period, many records were broken for both clubs, the two players alternated as top scorers in La Liga and the Champions League during most seasons while they were with Real Madrid and Barcelona. During this period, Ronaldo won the European Golden Shoe three times and Messi five times. In addition, Messi won the Ballon d'Or five times and Ronaldo four times. During the nine years they played together in Spain, the two players scored a total of 922 goals, including 38 goals in El Clasico matches, 20 scored by Messi and 18 by Ronaldo. As of 2024, Ronaldo is the all-time top scorer in the UEFA Champions League, followed by Messi in the second place. In addition, Messi is the all-time top scorer of La Liga with 474 goals, and Ronaldo is ranked second with 311 goals. Both players contributed to their club's record for the most points in La Liga history, with 100 points in the 2011-12 season for Real Madrid and in the 2012-13 season for Barcelona. The Messi-Ronaldo rivalry was characterized by a lot of goals scored by both players, in addition to many domestic and European titles that they were a major reason for achieving them. In their period, they contributed to the dominance of their clubs in Europe, as they won six Champions League titles in nine seasons, including five consecutive seasons between 2014 and 2018. In El Clasico matches, Messi has scored 26 goals in his career which is a record. Ronaldo has scored 18, which is the joint second most in the fixture's history alongside Di Stefano. Ronaldo, on the other hand, has a slight advantage in terms of minutes per goal ratio, scoring a goal for every 141 minutes played in El Clasico matches. Only slightly behind is Messi, scoring a goal every 151.54 minutes. In their period, the rivalry between Real Madrid and Barcelona has been encapsulated by the rivalry between Ronaldo and Messi. Following the star signings of Neymar and Luis Suarez by Barcelona, and Gareth Bale and Karim Benzema by Real Madrid, the rivalry was expanded to a battle of the club's attacking trios, nicknamed BBC, Bale, Benzema, Cristiano, and MSN, Messi, Suarez, Neymar. Ronaldo left Real Madrid for Juventus in 2018, and in the week prior to the first meeting of the teams in the 2018-19 La Liga, Messi sustained an arm injury ruling him out of the match. It would be the first time since 2007 that the Clasico had featured neither player, with some in the media describing it as the end of an era. Barcelona won the match 5-1. Thank you for watching this video.